Hey guys, it's Mad Friday and welcome back. Right, yesterday I had a couple of good games and some medium tags. I thought they were quite interesting and fun for me to play. So I thought they might be quite interesting to check out on the channel. So here they are. Right, first one, I am out in the STA1. It's the tier 8 Japanese medium tank. Fully upgraded. It's okay. I've not had huge amounts of success in it. It's quite hard to play, to be honest. Um, got absolutely no gun depression over the back, which can catch you out sometimes. It's not a huge amount of gun elevation. And because it's quite low to the ground, because you have quite a lot of gun depression, because your turret's quite low to the ground, you still have to put quite a lot of your tank up to get a good shot. Just like that. Anyway, right, so we picked up a first kill, it was a bit of a kill steal, but we got into a good position. Normally on this map, I would push the hill, because I don't normally trust our team to do it. Um, but, a lot of our heavies are going up there. So many, in fact, that the whole right flank has been ignored, and normally, you do get quite a few people just go straight out into that field and sit behind the rocks for the game. But in this game they didn't. They're uh, making quite a good push up the hill. So I'm going to advance my way along the mid ridge. So it's a nice change for me to be able to play a medium like you would play a medium. I'm trying to pick up some spots, but there's nothing about at the minute, so time to advance a little bit more. Six tenths goes off. There's a comet over there. Dodges shots. So I'm getting a bit worried now going too far because there's some enemy heavies on the side of their hill. I was never going to go in, that was just a chancy shot there. Alright, so we're hitting blind. I'm probably going to fire another one. I normally do. Oh, I didn't. Never mind. Okay. Pushing up to the bush, trying to get some spots, but there's nothing there. That comet is in cover, so we can't shoot at him. It's about time I pushed in some more. I shouldn't even think about those shots, really. Side of a heavy turret at that range, probably just going to bounce anyway. Wasting my time. Right, so here I go finally. Grown a pair now, going to push on in. still doing it, I shouldn't be doing this, it's just chancy shots. If I cared about my hit ratio, it'd probably be a bad thing there. We've got some nice shots on the side of these guys now. Because our guys have pushed the hill quite hard, and they've made it all the way around, these guys on that flank now, the enemies, they've got the choice of either facing up to our guys coming down the hill, or backing up and taking side shots from me. So we've got the side of a tiger now. For some reason, with this tank, I found it's better to shoot sideways, if you know what I mean. The turret off to one side and go up a hill and aim it sideways. For some reason, it just seems to work. I don't know why. I don't know if this tank has more gun depression over the side than the front. And that tiger's doomed. We've got some guys making a push, so I'm going to go with them. Well, I say that after I fired some absolutely pointless shots at that prototype. I may be very lucky and get one in, but from that range, more probably not, unless we were sideways. Waste of time. Right, so full man mode. And that T32 there is kind of uh, 
put pay to my plan there. I was just going to zerg round and get behind that prototype, but I'm probably not going to be able to do that now. Ready to fire on target. Let's find another target. Hmm. T32 there, his lower plate was hidden. Probably not going to be able to penetrate from here. But we are picking up some uh, assist points. I thought about just letting my tracks repair there, but I, that T32 would probably have beaten my repair time and probably hit me again. So I used my repair kit there. I do like to try and keep my repair kit for you know real emergency situations. Right, can any of you look at the mini-map and see what's about to happen? Can anybody guess what's about to happen? What normally happens? There we are. We're winning by miles, but we're going to lose to buy a cap. So, I've already noticed, so I'm on my way back. I've learnt now, lately, not to trust anybody who's going back to reset. I always go back now. If I've got a chance of getting back, I always go back. Trouble of spawning from that end, our flag has got a little dip behind it and they can get behind that dip and still be capping, so I'm going to have to push in some more. You see that IS-3 there, he's backing off into that dip. So I'm taking shots from the C-32 and from over there as well. Hmm, heat shell on the side of an 88, or 87, whatever it is, and it didn't pen. Right, so I can't hang around now. There's only four of them left, but they are actually managing the cap. And judging by our mini map, uh, there's only one tank squad that might have shots on them so far, and me, so I really need to get in there and do something about it. Just pushing in. There's the IS-3 that's capping. And he's got somebody else there with him. He's looking straight at me. Firing APCR. Mind you, I can't moan. I've got heat loaded because I really don't want to lose this match. Fed up with being three tanks to one up and losing games. It's getting ridiculous. We go IS3, gonna hit his cheek that's closest to me because it's not angled, and there we go. Right, so there's a KV4 now, which is a bit 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 tougher, and he's got a lot of health. Ouch, that hurt, and he's done my engine as well. There's no way I'm gonna beat his turret traverse now. But there's not a lot else I can do, just gotta get in this divot, and we set him on fire! Happy days! Just need one more. Bingo. I'm pretty sure without that fire, I could have uh, could have been in trouble there. But happy days. Nice daily double for the day, I hope. Not a huge amount of silver because I did fire a couple of heat rounds at the end. But I really wanted to get that cap secured. And there was a good chance of against that KV-4, even through the side armor, I could have bounced my standard rounds there. I'm going to get a Defender Medal. That's not bad. Don't get those very often. A few ribbons. Obviously the damaged ribbons were bumped up by the fire. Nice long list of tanks hit. I thought I would have got a Confederate there as well, but never mind. There we go, over 3,000 damage, 2,000 assist points, a nice daily double for the day. Obviously that Type 58 beat me, that's a premium tank, and he had a really good game. Right, so that match was enjoyable, but this one was even more enjoyable. This tank oh, I've been having a lot of fun with, this is the E50. It's fully upgraded. As soon as you get the upgraded turret on this thing, and decent engines, it just comes alive, and I love it, it's great. 
and it's so fast we're going to get on that island before any of the enemy's team are even near. Right, here we go, made it up. There's no one here yet. Here comes a light tank. Get one into him, he's had enough already. Right, normally I'd go and poke the bush straight away if I hadn't been spotted, but because I've been spotted, there we go, look, someone was aiming at us. I'm gonna back off, lose my spot, and push on forward. There we go, half the enemy's team lit up, including the artillery. If we could get rid of the artillery now, that would be great. Pump one into him. Left him on a sliver of health, and somebody else finishes him off. Happy days, that's the artillery, you don't have to wait here. Worry about. And we auto aim T30 there. This gun is pretty damn good. The reason I'm auto aiming is because I don't want to spend too long out in front of this guy. But now I'm going to aim in. He's just fired. He hit the bank, so I've got, you know, if he's using the big gun, I've got quite a long time to. Uh, take another shot at him. Right, the whole other flank has fell apart. I don't know if any of our guys went round there. I would say no, as uh, none of our tanks are dead. A couple of their guys have managed to get all the way around. If they're there on their own though, that's probably not a good idea for them. Waiting for him to come out, but he wouldn't. Did you see that arty shot there? I think it was an arty shot. Blitz that guy in one hit. Right, so I'm picking up the assist ribbons to that guy, but he's behind cover. And I'm keeping him spotted, which is a bit strange. But I'll take it. Not a lot I can do here, really, unless I jump down. I don't really want to give up this position. Right, T28 there. Backed up by somebody else. Got one into his side. Hopefully we can reload and get another one in before he sees us. Nope, he's turning, he's turning. Can I get this one in? Now pull back. Managed to get two in with no return shots. So now I'm going to try and bait a shot again. There we go, baited the shot, bounced off our front plate, gives me the time just to eye up a nice shot on his uh, cupolas there. Right now, turn around, straight back in it, the enemy's heavies are trying to make a push onto the island. Spot a T29 on low health, I've got a nice side turret shot. So you have to be fairly careful aiming those, because they will bounce if you hit the rounded sides. There's an SD1 poking as well. But we're above him and we do have a bit of gun depression. So hopefully we can aim down on the top of his turret. There we go. We dodge a return shot again, which is always nice. Tiger there on low health. Finish him off. That SD1 has taken more damage from someone else, so he's backing off, he's had enough. There's that T30 again. Put one more into him, he's now one shot for me. Right, IS6. Doing the same thing again, trying to bait a shot. But I think this guy's a bit. He's not so. Uh, not so silly as the other guy. But this stock tiger's going to give me an opportunity in a second. I don't know if he's trying to do the same thing as me, but he drives out sideways, takes a massive hit. It gives me time to poke out. Put a little shot into that IS 6s lower plate. Right, 
Right, he's backed right off now. So I'm going to go back to the other side of the island. That's the best thing about holding this island. You've got a 360 view around the whole map. And in quite a fast tank like this, it doesn't take long to relocate and pick your, you know, re relocate the targets. Six cents, there's the ST1, he's on low health. And that tiger's come over here. He's rather he held that corner and watched my flank. Take a shot there. Oh no, I've just taken a big hit from the IS-6. But I haven't got time to muck around. I'm going to finish off that ST-1. And then try and engage this IS-6. Aim for the turret cheeks. Bounced. And he penned my lower plate again. Right, so now I need to get this guy tracked. Is that the HE shot? tracks me this is not going well so I aim up another shot at his tracks and the T-54 rolls past and blocks me just as I was about to fire the IS-6 really wants me dead can I I'm gonna face hug him what else can I do and he gets blown away luckily before I die I was a little bit annoyed at that T-54 it was obvious I was uh, aiming at his tracks few ribbons not a bad game for a medium tank had fun in that game quite a bit of silver earned decent amount of base experience for a daily double class 1 mastery 4 kills, a few ribbons nice little list of enemies damaged Four and a half thousand damage, four kills, tidy amount of base experience, and there we go. Happy days. E50 down to a T. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please click the like button if you liked it and sub if you're not. See you later.